Hi, I'm just going to very quickly go over something I did in my last video and that is I've got the Desmos uh, software here and I'm going to show you how to do a dynamic label and by dynamic label what I mean is as I change a variable value you can see there that various numbers are being updated live on the actual file so they're not too hard to do uh, although I had a little bit of a problem related to the fact I've got a French keyboard, a Belgian French keyboard and the back tick which you need uh, was hard to find. So how are we going to make a label? Let's just first of all choose a place to put it. I'm going to give the label a name, what I haven't used R and then I'm going to open up some brackets and go uh, let's just put it over here at, at, at 60, 60, 20, round about here. 60 comma 20 I've got a point there that's good um, I don't like the fact that it's purple because I like that let's make it black I hold down the mouse key on that symbol at the side and I choose black okay I make sure it's a non moving uh, spot otherwise we'll have problems changing its size so down here the bit where it's a, a movable item I've turned that off I'm going to turn the label on, etiquette the French word for label. And what I'm going to do is just put in a new size for that. I'm going to put it in three. Okay. <clears throat> and then I can choose a different place to put the label around by choosing these different places here. So I'm going to place it to the side like that. And now I'm going to override the standard label on that, <coughs> excuse me. So by clicking in this space here with the label on, I can override that. And I'm gonna override it with a piece of what's called LaTeX. Now, it's not too hard to do. I'm just gonna copy it from uh, a file I got here. Outside here, I've got Notepad with a appropriate formula in it. I'm gonna select that, tell you how to get it in a second. So let's just move that back out place that in there and it'll overwrite the default etiquette and there you can see I've got a little dot with 1x squared plus 7x plus 50 and that has been produced using the following code uh, the back tick and if you haven't got back tick on your keyboard hold down the alt key type 096 release the alt key and you'll get a back tick then the dollar sign, which is what LaTeX uses to tell you it's doing something useful. Then a curly bracket, open curly bracket. Then the label of the variable you want to track. And in my case, I've got three variables I'm tracking. A variable here called A, a variable called B, and a variable called C. They're already written into my Desmos file. So I am tracking those variables uh, in this particular piece. Let me just bring back the notepad. Okay, so I've got back tick, dollar, curly bracket, A, close the curly bracket, then X, which is the actual variable that Desmos is using to plot it, squared, plus dollar, open curly bracket, B, the next variable, close the curly bracket, X plus, dollar curly bracket c close curly bracket and finish the whole thing off with another back tick okay let's just close that one out of the way uh let me just once again show you some of the stuff here i can actually change the i'm not quite sure what are ah, there we go we've got some strange thing there where has my <laughs> full stop gone there we go Okay, that was about me trying to find my full stop. So there you go. That's as simple as that to make um, a dynamic label. Let's just test that it works. Uh, change that one there. You can see the value at the end of that uh, changing. If I change 7, it goes backwards and forwards as well. Okay, let me reset that to 7 for a different exercise. Reset that to 50 and we are good. Take care.